Okay, this video is to describe how to change the port orientation on vein pumps. This particular pump is a double vein pump here. And what we've done ahead of time here is we prepared this pump by loosening up the bolts. And uh, what we do is put the pump in a vise here. We are actually clamped up on the shaft and uh, we've got uh, brass inserts on our vise here so we don't do any damage to the shaft of the pump. And what we also have done here is we've uh, inserted a bolt into one of the mounting holes here so that as you're either tightening up the bolts or loosening them up, it's gonna prevent the pump from rotating. It is important that the pump be put in a vise and that this not be done horizontal on a machine. There's chances that if you do it horizontal that the pump's gonna come apart on you and you're gonna have some issues with the reassembly of it as well as uh, seals becoming displaced as you're putting it together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna describe here first how to reorientate the port on just the rear cover only here. So again, we've loosened up the bolts here, so we're gonna remove the bolts from the rear cover. Okay, now that's all you'd have to do then is just reposition the cover to a, a, new, a new position here that you need it in. And it's very, very important here that, that where this cover joins up with the housing here that that does not separate at all because any separation of that can get the the vein pump cartridge out of position internally in the pump here to where it will not function properly so after it's put into position what you would do then is go ahead and put the bolts in and then retorque it down so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the step of where we're going to have to change the orientation of the inlet port in relation to the outlet port here and by changing that, what we have to do is we have to remove the rear cover completely. So we're gonna remove the bolts again. And then we're gonna remove the rear cover. And there is a possibility that the, the vein cartridge may may come out with that cover and if it doesn't it's gonna um it's just gonna be setting in the housing to where you can remove that cartridge and we'll go through some proper instructions of putting that back in uh, during assembly here so you can remove that and set that aside and then you remove the four bolts from the inlet section of this vein pump You can remove the bolts, set those aside. And again, with the, the inlet portion of this pump here, what you can do is grab onto the housing and rotate it into the new position that you need to put in. And again, it's very important that where the, the inlet housing and the front flange of the pump here are, that this does not separate here. By se the separating of these uh, in rotating that, that can cause that uh, cartridge, vein cartridge to become out of position uh, and not allow flow to oil to flow appropriately back into that cartridge and put it together and could cause catastrophic failure of it. So when the inlet housing is in the proper position, what you can do is uh, reinstall the bolts. And again, what you would do then here is you would actually have to torque these bolts down to the appropriate torque at the time of reassembly here. We are just going to show this uh, hand type for right now. Okay, the next step would be to reinstall the the cartridge kit for the rear of this pump here. Now it's very important here, if you look at the rear of this here, there's uh, two dowel pins on the back here. And those two dowel pins must 
go into the dowel pin holes that are in the pump there. You can see one to the top of the video and one to the bottom of it. So install that cartridge so that those dowel pins are in those dowel pin holes. See it drop down into position there. Okay, the next thing would be to install the O-ring around the cartridge there that's gonna seal that rear housing and then put that seal on the cartridge, the yellow seal on the cartridge then. And then you can reinstall that rear cover to the proper position that you want it located. You can rotate it. And again, when you're rotating it, do not lift up on that cover at all. Once it's in position, reinstall the bolts and torque them down to the proper torque. 